Reading from Chaitanya Charitamrita, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gauravata Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya, Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gauravata Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya, Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gauravata Vrinda. We are on Adi Lila, Chapter 4. Text 32. E sabarasa nira nir yasa kariba ashwada. E dware kariba sabha bhaktere prasada. I shall taste the essence of all these rags and in this way I shall favor all the devotees. So we are continuing to um, hear about what Krishna was feeling just before he came as Lord Chaitanya. He came to give us this highest Braj Prem, the, the, the love of the Braj Basis. Uh, so then by hearing about the pure love of the residents of Braj, devotees will worship me on the path of spontaneous love, abandoning all rituals of religiosity and fruitive activity. So Krishna is saying, thinking like this, that I'll show them what is Braj Prem. What is the pure love of the residents of the Brajbasis? And they will get attracted to this kind of love. And then, because this is how Krishna enjoys also, he gets attracted by the spontaneous love. So he came to give us that. We are very fortunate to be where we are right now. We're very fortunate to be here on this planet Earth, just only 500 years after Lord Chaitanya came. Because he came to give us this Raj Prem, this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. If we were, for example, if we were not on this planet right now and we were on another planet, you know, then how would we hear about this? How would we chant Hare Krishna? How would we understand all these things? And if we were, say, in another species of life, an animal or a tree, you know, or a bird, then we wouldn't be able to understand. Then, so we are very, very fortunate to have this human form of life at, at this moment on this planet Earth. And so we should be very grateful, feel ourselves very fortunate for this opportunity. So many realized souls, such as Raghunath Das Goswami and King Kulashekha, have recommended with great emphasis that one develop this spontaneous love of Godhead, even at the risk of transgressing all the traditional codes of morality and religiosity. Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, one of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan, has written in his prayers, called the Mana Shiksha, that one should simply worship Radha and Krishna with all attention. Na dharmam na dharmam shrutigana niruptam kila kuru. One should not be much interested in performing Vedic rituals or simply following rules and regulations. Because in the Vedas, there are many, many rules and regulations. And so what are the, the Acharyas now telling us after Lord Chaitanya came? They are telling us that worship uh, Krishna and Srimati Radharani in the mood what Lord Chaitanya has taught us. So they are showing us from the scriptures, from the Vedas, how we can worship Radha and Krishna and reach Golok Vrindavan. Not the other Vaikuntha planets where the relationship with Krishna is in awe and reverence, but how we can develop this pure love of Krishna. So shall I artificially think, oh yes, I have a, that, oh yes, uh, I am a cowherd boy and Krishna is my friend and so I can treat him any way I like. No, we are not at that level yet. We have to follow in what the acharyas are telling us. We have to continue hearing and chanting, worshipping the deity. In our position, we still have this mood of worship to the Lord, that the Lord is our master, we are his subordinates. Huh? That is still there. We, sh we cannot artificially progress to this stage, which is very high. So King Kula Shekhar has written similarly in his book, Mukunda Mala Stotra Pai Nashta Darve Na Vasu Nishchaye Neva Kamo Pabhoge Yad Bhavyam Tad Bhavatu Bhagwan Purva Karmanu 
Rupam etad parthayam mama bahu mata matam janma janma antarepi tvat padambo ruha yuga gata nischala bhakti rastu. I have no attraction for performing religious rituals or holding any earthly kingdom. I do not care for sense enjoyments. Let them appear and disappear in accordance with my previous deeds. My only desire is to be fixed in devotional service to the lotus feet of the Lord. Even though I may continue to take birth here, life after life. So this is the mood of a devotee. King Kula Shekar. So he's a king. So we can see if we are becoming devotees, not that we have to give up our responsibilities. No, we don't. We just stay wherever we are, whatever position we are in, whatever responsibility, we, we keep doing that. But at the same time, engage in bhakti. What is his desire? Only desire is to be fixed in devotional service to the lotus feet of the Lord. Even though I may continue to take birth here, life after life. Now, why is a devotee going to be saying that? Why is he saying that I don't mind being born here in this material world, life after life, when it's such a miserable place? All of us want to get out of here. You know, we want to get out of this material world because it's a miserable place. Now, why is this devotee, King Kula Shekhar, saying, I just want devotional service to the lotus feet of the Lord? Because what he is praying is for pure devotional service. Pure devotional service to the lotus feet of the Lord means fully Krishna conscious. Then no matter where the devotee is going, he is with Krishna always. Whether he's in hell, whether he's in heaven, whether he's in any, any other planet, or whether he's in Golopurindavan, he's always with Krishna. Because his consciousness is fixed in Krishna. His mind is fixed in Krishna and Krishna's service. So he's getting the bliss, the happiness with that. And that is a proof. That's a proof. When we hear the devotees' prayers like this, it's a proof that, yes, just by becoming devotees, by becoming pure devotees, we can have all experience all the enjoyment, experience all the happiness, finish all the fear, finish all the negative emotions, the anxiety, just by taking shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna, fixing our consciousness on Krishna. Uh, reading 34, Anugraya Bhaktanam Manusham Deham Ashritaha Bajatet Tadrishi Krida Ya Shutva Tatparo Bhavet. Krishna manifests his eternal human life form and performs his pastimes to show mercy to the devotees. Having heard such pastimes, one should engage in service to him. So, this text is from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, uh, Chapter 33, Text 36. The Supreme Personality of Godhead has innumerable expansions of his transcendental form who eternally exist in the spiritual world. So Krishna, he's the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And he has many, many expansions, many incarnations. Ra Lord Ramachandra, Nishinga, Matsya, Varaha. There's so many. It, it's un, unlimited. And all these expansions and incarnations, they live eternally in the spiritual world. They each have their own Vaikuntha planet. This material world is only a perverted reflection of the spiritual world where everything is manifested without in, in variety. There, everything is in its original existence, free from the domination of time. So this material world is a perverted reflection of the spiritual world. The true reality exists in the spiritual world. Everything in its pure form exists in the spiritual world. This material world is only a perverted reflection. So in the material world, time has a deteriorating effect. Everything has an expiry date here in this material world. But in the spiritual world, 
time does not have its deterioration effect. Time is eternal. It does not deteriorate anything in the spiritual world. So uh, where different manifestations of Supreme Personality of Godhead are the recipients of the worship of different living entities in their constitutional spiritual positions. So there are many, many spiritual planets and each of the planet is resided by one of the expansions of Krishna. Krishna has many expansions and in each planet is this expansion. The different Vishnu forms are there. And then there are many, many living entities, the liberated living entities. And what they are doing, they are offering worship to the Supreme Lord. They understand that the Lord is maintaining me. He loves me. He is the one because of him I exist. You know, if he wouldn't maintain me, I wouldn't be there. If it was not for him, I wouldn't exist. So they are in perfect harmony. In the spiritual world, all existence is unadulterated goodness. The goodness found in the material world is contaminated by the modes of passion and ignorance. So here we have three modes of nature, passion, uh, goodness, and ignorance. But the goodness that we find in the material world Sometimes we are in the mode of goodness, but then the next moment we might get angry. So that's mode of uh, ignorance. You know, the next moment we can go into passion. So, but in the spiritual world, in the spiritual world, there is no ignorance and passion. And the goodness also is, is the Vishuddha Sattva, the, you know, pure goodness, pure always in the mode of goodness, always remembering the eternal position. I'm a constitu my constitutional position. I'm an eternal living entity. I'm a spirit soul. I have a loving relationship with Krishna. All the time in that mode. That mood never goes away. Never. So that is in the spiritual world. So this purport is a little long. We'll continue reading it tomorrow. Due to time constraints, we'll stop here for today. Thank you so much for listening in. Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita ki Jeshla Prabhupada ki Jagor Hari Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.